Hey everyone, this is Kobe from Amor IT Solutions, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about Google and Microsoft's cloud-based storage services and um, why you might want to either go with them or possibly use your own storage for your business. First, let's take a look at uh, Google services. Many businesses are going to cloud-based services now, uh, opposed to the older or traditional way of storing your data, which is on like a Windows server or on a network area storage device, which has numerous hard drives that you would have in your office or business. And um, having this set up so that you can actually have all of your employees uh, connect to one device and be able to save um, and change documents. What's happening now, or what's been happening over, you know, I guess numerous years now, or a few, the last few years at least, is that a lot of businesses are wanting to get away from localized storage. They're basically wanting to use services like Google's. Um, cloud-based services or Microsoft service. And of course, there's a subscription price for it. And I just wanted to take a look at this with you guys. So this is Google's based services. I'm on their website, uh, Google One. I wanna scroll down to the bottom here for the prices. So it appears on their website that you can get 15 gigabytes of free um, cloud-based storage. The next tier up, which they say is the recommended tier, is 100 gigabytes for $1.99 a month. Now the annual would be $20 a month or $19.99, excuse me, $19.99 uh, a year, not a month. Um, what it gives you is 100 gigabytes of storage, access to Google experts, uh, which I assume is like their tech support, option to add your family, and extra member benefits. The next tier is 200 gigabytes, and that is $2.99 a month and $29.99 per year. With that, um, you get 200 gigabytes of storage, access to Google experts, optional to add uh, family members, 3% back in Google uh, store, and extra benefits. The next tier is two terabytes of cloud space, which is $9.99 a month and $99.99 uh, .99 a year. Um, basically the only differences, uh, from this, from the, uh, hundred gigabyte and 200 or 200 gigabyte, um, options is basically this one is 10% back in Google store and extra, uh, member benefits, which is what the other two have as well. Um, they have, uh, some other tiers here, 10 terabyte, um, uh, basically $99.99 a month and they have a 20 terabyte for $199.99 a month and 30 terabytes for $299.99 a month. Um, let's look over at Microsoft's website. Uh, OneDrive for Business Plan one is $5 a month with an annual commitment. Then they have a $10 a month for uh, OneDrive for business plan two. And then they have a Microsoft 365 business standard. It was formerly known as Office 365 Business Premium and that's $12.50 a month. This one includes Office apps, um, Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Access, Publisher, um, and a few others here. 
the other two options, the plan one and plan two, do not include any of the office apps. Scrolling down, um, it looks like for total storage for the yeah, for the five dollar plan it's one terabyte per user. For the ten dollar plan a month, it's unlimited uh, individual storage, cloud storage. And then for the Office or the Microsoft 365 business, that is one terabyte per user. Now, <clears throat> some people will contact us and ask us what we think about these cloud-based systems. Um, we've seen a lot of, uh, or gone into a lot of businesses where a lot of their employees use uh, these services. And what we find a lot of the time is, is that it's very confusing even for the employees to use them. Um, oftentimes they forget their login or some other mishap that they have um, and we or I'm not against using the cloud-based services but um, I'm still a big fan of having local storage you know storage at your own business I do like cloud-based storage as a secondary backup plan um, but I just think that a lot of these cloud-based systems get you uh, tied up into using other applications or other uh, promotional stuff that they want you uh, to use or they bundle in um, with something like this. And, I mean, really, if you think about it, storage, as time goes on, many of us are using um, a lot of very big files, especially if you're using video files. So, you know... Something like one terabyte of data is a lot of data, but if you're a company that uses a lot of video files, um, a lot of bigger files, that one terabyte can get used up pretty quick. Um, we tend to try and steer customers into getting um, network area storage devices. Uh, we use Synology. Um, their distation line and they have a wide variety of network area storage devices anywhere from like a one or two bay hard drive um nas unit i mean all the way up to you know 12 16 24 hard drive bays um the differences between getting a localized storage opposed to using a cloud-based storage is, is obviously there's more upfront cost with having your own storage. You have to pay for the actual device and then the hard drives. Um, and then obviously you need someone to set it up for you. Uh, the cost of this device here is about $650 on Amazon. Um, again, there are more expensive and cheaper models than this. Um, but you could set something like this up if you use 10 terabyte hard drives in a RAID 5 configuration where you would have one hard drive was is actually a kind of like a parity drive uh, in the event that a hard drive goes bad. You could put another blank hard drive in there and not lose any of your data. But if you put 10 terabyte hard drives in here, one being the parity, I mean, you would have 40 terabytes of usable storage. So, I mean, if you think about that, and you go back to, say, Google's website, you know, if you went to, like, the 30 terabyte option, again, it's $299.99, and that's a month. So, to me, going to something like uh, Synology Disk Station, uh, which it has a lot of software built into that. Um, you have the ability of being able to connect numerous computers, laptops, desktops, uh, even servers if you want to this device. It will back them up uh, completely. So a full disk image 
of the entire hard drive of your computer or you can do um, just like you know folders uh, select files and folders that you want to back up um, to me it makes more sense to have something like this um, having it set up say you have an office of uh, 10 employees and each employee has their own computer uh, you set something like this up uh, you set up a configuration to where everyone has their um, own username and password access to the uh, Synology box and um, you can have them set this up not only for when they're in the office but you could also have it set up with a virtual private network so that they could actually connect to this device when they're out of the office so say like right now as you all know the country uh, has the COVID-19 going on um, in the pandemic a lot of people are working from home so this type of device would also give you access just like Google One or Microsoft's uh, services in the cloud, you would be able to connect to this box from your house, uh, from a, a cafe if you wanted to, wherever that you have internet access, you would be able to connect to this localized storage device at your work and be able to access all of your information just as if you were actually in the office. So that's one of the benefits of um, having localized storage um, like I said, I, I'm not uh, against people wanting to have cloud-based storage. I just find that, um, you know, basically a lot of people don't realize that cloud-based storage, you're just using someone else's computer. That's all it is. So they have servers with a bunch of storage um, set up, and you're just leasing that storage on their, on their systems, opposed to having it on your own. Um, we try and give our customers uh, the pros and cons of both sides. Sometimes it makes more sense for them to have something like Google One um, or uh, OneDrive from Microsoft to be able to back up their information. But we, as we always tell our customers, you should have uh, more than one place that you have your information at. So if you've got, uh, obviously, some of the information would be on your computer that computer ever dies um, the hard drive goes bad the computer somehow crashes and is unusable um, you need a place where you're backing up your important information to so that would be um, like a Synology box that I had showed you before um, I don't really like the cloud-based systems that Microsoft and Google have for backing up information um, I just don't think that they're really the right platform for doing that. There's a lot better platforms out there for backing up your information. And even with these Synology boxes or QNAP is another company that makes boxes like this. Um, you could have one in the office or two in the office. You could have one offsite in the event that something happens in your building, like a fire or a flood. Um, you would still have your information uh, just backed up in another location. So just things to think about um, whenever we go to customers and look at their network, we look to see what they're using for data storage or data backup. And, you know, some customers uh, need a better solution that they already have. And some people are, are happy with what they have, even when it is one of these cloud-based um, backup plans or storage plans so anyways that's uh, kind of my two cents worth um you know let me know what you guys think in the comments you know what types of things that your businesses use do they use uh you know a server to store all of their information where every employee accesses it or do they use something like this like a synology or a qnap um, network storage device or do they use some type of cloud-based system like uh, Google One or um, Microsoft's OneDrive? So yeah, leave a comment, I'd appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next video.
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when we have new content. Also, if you'd like to know more about us, we have several social media pages, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you would like to hire us for any network consulting or IT needs, please head over to amoreitsolutions.com, fill out our contact form, and let us know what we can do to help you out. Once again, I'd like to thank everybody for all your support, and we hope to see you in the next video.